This video is brought to you by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks.com is your one-stop shop for upgrade sets for your Transformers collection, from your oldest pieces to the most recent releases. They also make upgrade sets for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and customizable weapons through the ToyHacks armory. Viewers of this channel can get 15% off their next order using the promo code on screen now. Or if you're watching at some point in the future, you can check the community tab on my YouTube channel. Thanks again to ToyHacks.com. Welcome back to Stick It! My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for Studio Series 37, Skipjack and Rampage. This set contains 32 separately numbered stickers, and costs $10. Construction vehicles tend not to make for an ideal canvas, which will be something of a theme for the next few videos, I think. Rampage is somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, of perfect flat surfaces ripe for the stickering on one side, and undulating white noise that would be impossible for anything to adhere to on the other. So I think the stickerologists at the Toy Hacks campus did a pretty good job working with what they were given. It's nothing groundbreaking, <laughs> get it, because he's a bulldozer? But it works towards grounding this vehicle mode even more than it already is, and giving it just that little hint of premium pop. Take the cab, for example, what with its besmoked windows, and the blade with its simulated wear and tear and behind the blinds Decepticon badge. This long frame down here has a bunch of detail brought out to imply interior mechanisms like pistons and gaskets and whatever else there is on a bulldozer. I admit I don't know much about heavy machinery, I just know a good looking vehicle mode when I see one. Robot mode is similarly understated, but not underserviced. Big elephant in the room, before we move on, this sticker on his, uh, waist? Yeah, his waist. It gets damaged pretty easily thanks to transformation. However, this component is misassembled in the first place, so if anyone has a copy with the waist the right way around and the stickers applied, let me know how it's holding up. While we're here, I should note that both this and the one down by his mono ankle have a yellow copy included as well, in case you're one of those people who bought Skipjack. I did not. Moving on, Rampage is a prime example of a few design elements common to the Toy Hacks Constructicon sets, one of which is this silver damage effect laid under transparent stickers. Most obvious on Rampage's pogo leg, this is just a brilliant design choice that really adds a lot to these toys without cluttering them with too much detail. They're very non-obvious and catch the light super well. I would honestly love to see this kind of thing done more often. Now as for the other design element I alluded to, well there are some things that would be best saved for when I get all eight Constructicons together, wouldn't you agree? Studio Series Rampage was a pretty cool introduction to the Devastator lineup, and this sticker sheet is, likewise, a pretty cool introduction to Toy Hacks' tackling of this mighty behemoth. It's by no means the most impressive of the bunch, believe me, I don't think anything can compare to with a certain scavenging fellow in that regard, but let's face it, if you're thinking about getting stickers for any one of these guys, you may as well go all in. If you need a little more convincing, don't worry, there's plenty more Constructicon action in the near future. This has been Kick Catastrophe, transform and roll out. 